What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Police Shootout. Today, we are going to be taking a possible look at two uh, different scenarios. We have a stealing fuel and a stealing merchandise just down or uh, up the road from each other. Let us go ahead and hop into one of these scenarios. Um, I think we're going to do the... F uh, we've been to gas station. We've been to... Ah... Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the stealing merchandise first, then we'll go ahead and head to the fuel. Alright, so we got a suspect burglary in an area warehouse. Uh, no details of anything. Let's go ahead and get out of our vehicle. Shut the door. Let's go ahead and alert dispatch that we have made it. Oh, I guess they already know we're 1023. Talk to the security guard. Good of you to come. I try. What's going on? Some truck, and I'm sure it wasn't one of ours. Pulled up from the other side of the warehouse. Maybe I wouldn't be making a big deal if it wasn't for the fact that whoever drove it started loading our stuff into it. Okay. You sure it's not your truck? Maybe you just don't recognize it. I'm sure. I asked the driver and his friends for IDs, and they tried to tell me they forgot and that they were new. They're lying. I'd know if the boss took on someone new. Makes sense. If you're sure it's none of your employees and not your truck, why'd you let them in? Problem is, I didn't let them in. One of the guys working in the warehouse did. He just opened the gate for them. Interesting. I understand that, but... But I understand that you know who let them in. Yeah, I know. That's Doyle. Doyle Hawkins. He's a big smartass. You don't like him? Honestly, I think this guy's got issues. This isn't the first time strange, suspicious things have happened here. We reported every one of these incidents, but the police never got here in time. The sons of bitches were long gone, and then we were the ones that looked like idiots. Makes sense. Strange, suspicious things meaning what exactly besides there's always a trail, police weren't looking. They searched and searched, only they found nothing. No sign of forced entry, not in ours or the other warehouses. They must be professionals. Or, I don't know, do they always have their man on the inside? They could. Are they still here? Yeah, I guess so. But you gotta go out there and check it out yourself. I'm not gonna stick my neck out. Our manager should still be in the hall. Maybe he saw something more. I don't think the guys here did. But, you can ask. It can't hurt. Yeah, right, in that case, I'm gonna go take a look around now. Appreciate it. I still like how we have the light bar and then we just have that red light. Okay, we can't go that way. Supposedly it's a truck. Okay, that's the security guard. Let's go talk to these people over here. What's going on, man? Come on, the world is totally going downhill. Why does this dude look familiar? Oh, good morning. Did you hear about those junkies at the motel? No, uh, yeah, I have. I told my sister to stay home because it's not just supermarket robberies. It's drugged out lunatics. I knew this dude looked familiar. I swear, the world has gone crazy. What is it? You wanted to ask me something? I have information there shouldn't be any loading at this moment. Is that right? Well, maybe it shouldn't be, but you know how it is. Maybe someone's behind in their work and they're making it up off the schedule? I don't know. Ah, oh, you're useless to me. What's going on, man? The police. Did one of the boys do something wrong? I don't know. You tell me. There's a load in progress that's not on the schedule. Do you know anything about that? Apparently one of the employees is there now. You must mean Doyle. I've actually seen him walking around with boxes, but I don't think this is a police matter. Someone reported to us that an unauthorized truck came onto your property. You understand that I need to check that out. No, clearly you have a job and you need to do it. I just don't understand who's making such a big deal out of it. Um, wait, let me guess. The security guard, huh? Did he call? I can't give you that information. You don't have to. I already know. Anyway, Doyle has his trailer. It's the gray green one. You walk to the gate and you'll find it. You can go and talk to your friend if you can find him there. Can you tell me anything more about the fella? About Doyle? I don't really know what I can tell you. He hangs out with some strange people. One time he came in here with some bum who said he was his buddy. 
Actually, I don't know him that well. Sure, I understand. Here's Appreciate it. Walk around behind it, and the trailer is right there. Awesome, thank you. What's going on, man? Good morning. Can I help you? Nothing out here is bothering you? No, no. Oh, you mean those guys hanging around one of the trucks right now? That's right. I don't know them, but I'm assuming the Chief's got someone new on the crew. Boss didn't mention anything about new hires. Does that bother you? Particularly, but if it bothers you, go over and talk to him. All right, will do. Key to the gate. I'm assuming is right here. And this has to be his trailer right here. So we'll go ahead and search this bad boy. Okay, so we have to find a way to actually get in this trailer. We shall go ahead and talk to the manager now. Let's actually go ahead, because, oh, no, not the cuffs, the radio. Guy. Hey man, stop. Talk to me. Can I help you? I don't think we've summoned anyone from your side. Let me my side. Your security guard called. He reported suspicious activity on your premises. I'm gonna need a minute, okay? A suspicious activity? What is it? One of your employees, Doyle Hawkins, is he supposed to be in the loading zone right now according to his schedule? Doyle? No, he's working the night shift tonight. Why do you ask? Security guard informed me that an unauthorized truck had entered the premises. People who got out of the truck are not, as far as I can tell, employees of yours. This is weird. Why'd you ask about Doyle? What does this have to do with him? Security guard suggested that Doyle let these people onto your property. I don't know what to think about this. I don't want to accuse anyone in advance, but just check it out, okay? Go down the stairs. The door to the loading area is secured with a code. Code is 4782. Remember that? We'll give you a key to the archive just in case. And that's how you get into this sector. I need to get into the trailer of one of your men. Can you help me with that too? Do you need it? And for what purpose? Give me the key to that trailer. So you're not gonna tell me. I understand. Alright then. Here. Here's a key. Anything else? Uh yeah, one more thing. Notice anything suspicious or unusual about the warehouse? Here? Are you asking about something specific? I don't know, you tell me. No attempted theft at all? There was a theft a few years ago. A couple of cartons of electronic equipment disappeared because at the time we were working with a large company of that type. But other than that, no. Peace and quiet. Okay, tell me yes. more. Anything else? Nah, uh, that's all for now. Appreciate it. Okay, so he said it's uh, downstairs. Archive. So that's the main hall. I don't need to go there. I want to put this stupid thing away. I guess we'll take the baton out. Why not? Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah. What's the matter? Anything I can... You work here? What's your name? Aaron Kenneth. What's going on? Am, am I in trouble? I need to get to the loading zone. Why do you want to go there? Nobody's... All right. All right. I see you're stubborn. I'll show you another entrance. You and your colleagues, you're loading something onto the truck now, right? Yeah, there's a lot of merchandise to go around. That's right, a lot of stuff. Problem is, according to what I've heard from the other warehouse workers, you shouldn't have been there in the first place. You must have stumbled in here, right? I did. Uh. 
All right, so we got one suspect killed because, you know, I always forget I have a stun gun or the bean bag. Okay, so he's got extortion going for him. Where'd that Aaron guy go? Oh, that's, that's closed. We'll pick up that firearm. Can't search the body or nothing. Oh, we don't have ammo in the stun gun, so we have to use our firearm no matter what. So that door is closed. That door is also closed. Door is also closed. Finally! But watch out, there's some guys with guns behind that door. What exactly did you see? Derek, a buddy from here brought them here. They're in the storeroom and they have guns. Okay, how many are there? The two of them, I don't know. Plus Derek. Move to a safer place. I'm going to have to go I in need there. need to find Aaron. I hope he's okay. Aaron, from what I understand, he's working with them. I tried to get him to talk, but he got away. He didn't get far. Uh, check the employee lounge. I'm sure he's hiding there. The key is in the locker behind me. Aaron is strange. He's easy to get to him. D to try. Maybe he'll say something. And be careful. These people don't fuck around. Yeah, sure. Thanks for your help. Said locker behind you is the key. Oh. Duh. Key to the workshop. You. Oh, shit. I... Okay. You got me. Just don't shoot, okay? Uh... You really threw me under the bus. Are you helping these people? Tell me what you know. I don't know! Shit, I don't know anything, okay? They threatened to shoot me. I let them in because they forced me. They told me to open the gate and keep my mouth shut. Stop lying. You really think I'm going to believe that? You could have run away. You could have called the police. You could have even reported it to your boss. You don't understand. They know where I live. They know who I am. They wouldn't forgive me. They'd get me later. If you don't want to go to jail for complicity, you'll help me. You'll call one of them. Tell him to come over here. Are you crazy? Yes. Call him, come up with anything, I don't care. I want you to get him back here, okay? You're really crazy. So what? He comes in here, and what are you gonna do? If he sees you, he will shoot you. And if he thinks I helped you, he'll shoot me too. I see you're looking forward to a long sentence in a bad lockup. Oh, uh, wait, what? Look, when you get out of here, you'll see the door to the hall. There's this big yellow machine across from it. That's a loud damn thing. If you turn it on, 100% of them will go there. This will be your opportunity. Alright, now put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. Well, he went down without a fight, so that was a good thing. Stay right here. Drop your weapon now, you're under arrest. Oh, you're gonna play this type of game with me, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> I 
How did I miss that? Oh boy. Oh, are you kidding me? Alright, dude. You're coming with me. One's dead. Alright, man. You're coming with me. You're coming with me. You're going in cuffs. You're under arrest. Go and pick that up. pick that up this dude is completely deceased we're gonna go ahead and look in the trailer real quick before we go ahead and confront Doyle just in case we find some more evidence against him look at that we arrested two people already so far okay so the okay so this is where we just came from nope we have to go this way yep this is where we came from so now we get to go search that trailer all right, let's go ahead and come to the trailer as soon as we get stuck, unstuck from this garbage bag here. Nobody's in here, but there is a action plan. That is the only thing that is in here, so uh, let's go ahead and come back down to the loading dock, and we shall try to confront Doyle. Looks like security guard was right. Two people who were loading the truck actually had no right to do so or be here at all. What? Who let them in here? One of your employees admitted he was helping them. Are you kidding me? But I suppose you can't tell me who that is right now. Nope, I can't actually. Official police business. So we got boxes here that are going in the truck. I think this right here is Doyle. Stop, police. police. Someone is clearly talking too much. Shit! Look, you seem like a smart guy. Let's not do this. Uh, put the gun down and talk. <laughs> I like your faith and training methods. Keep trying. Keep trying. So there's two good arguments of the four. Whenever someone reported suspicious people hanging out around the warehouse in town, we'd show up too late. You knew how to set it up so you could get there in time, but today it fell apart, huh? And your winning streak went to shit. Not a streak, idiot. Not a streak. Skills and talent. Anyway, nothing has gone wrong. I still have a way out. I can just shoot you. Take the boys and run. Next time, pick your partners more carefully because one of them lost a memo with your big plan for today. Now get out your paper and pen and draw a plan to get away from your pissed off cellmate. Has anyone ever told you that you're a real asshole? Relax, huh? We're talking. I knew you weren't acting alone besides your two accomplices, who by the way are already off the hook. Someone else was helping you, someone from here. He didn't break in here today. Maybe we didn't have to. Maybe that old janitor forgot to lock up. I know who was helping you. Enough with the BS. He's got the advantage of being the first one to talk. You want to go through with this? Put the gun down. Don't be a jerk. You don't know shit. You don't know anything. Your shooting is totally off the mark. You two were hanging around here a few days ago. You and your silent partner. You were doing some recon, right? But don't worry. When you go to jail, someone will show you around. But do you know that solving this puzzle won't get you promoted to detective? At most, it's senior slave to the officer. Finish negotiating. Okay, you convinced me. I give up. Cool, he gives up. Now we don't even have to worry about getting into a gun battle. I literally just picked two random ones, and apparently those were the two that we uh, got him with. So he is now arrested. We'll go ahead and get back in the patrol vehicle. We'll let the other units take care of this bad boy. 
Well, we can't get through that way, so we have to actually go all the way around. Gotta love it. Listen, you're stubborn, aren't you? The commissioner was right. If you put your mind on something, then that's just fucking it. I know you're snooping, and I know this is gonna end badly for you sooner or later, so... Hey, I'll help you out, okay? I'll look for your brother some more. But don't think about this too much, just... I lost somebody too. Just be prepared that whatever you might find, you might not like it. Okay, get back to work. We'll catch up later. Interesting. Don't know why he was just out over here. But it is what it is. Alright, well, let's hop back in the patrol vehicle. And we will complete the mission here. 82%. So we did have to kill two people, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Two out of the four were arrested. Four out of the six were secured. Uh, zero secured, blah, 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 blah. Three out of five radio reports. I'm not worried about that. We didn't get no civilians and no suspects ran away. Let's go ahead and keep going. And now for the news. Okay, so we have two skill points available. So we do have a chance to hide two wrong answers. We'll go ahead and do that one, just because. And we got this one right here, stealing fuel. Let's go ahead and check this one out. Alright, looks like we got theft of fuel at a large vehicle wash station involvement. No data is in, or no data is a shown. Let's go ahead and close our door. Let's alert dispatch that we have... Arrived on scene. Alright, what's going on, buddy? You can't park here. You blocked the entrance. The customers are gonna be mad. You'll explain it to him somehow, besides I have a few questions for you. Easy for you to talk like that, huh? You flash your badge and that's it. Yeah. I'm just a security guard and I get paid to keep the entrance clean. Well, good for you. If I get fired, who's gonna buy my son his medicine? Kid needs a heart transplant, you know. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but until I say it's okay, nobody goes in or out, okay? Yeah. What else do you want to know? Keep record of entries and exits. I'm taking notes, but only those big ones. No passenger cars. Why? Do you have a surveillance system here? Can you give me access to the last few days? I can't, because we don't have it. I mean, we do, but it doesn't work. Okay, not working, huh? It doesn't work. It's broken and not working. It'll be two weeks now. Are you really just telling me that there's no chance of seeing the recordings of the last two weeks? Don't give me that look, because it's not up to me, okay? The boss knows there's a malfunction, but he hasn't done a thing about it. What can I do? We've got one here in the neighborhood. How do you say repairs? Oh? Repairs. You know, for computers and junk. They have a lot on their plate. They hardly ever come out of there. You're, ma you're making something up. Why should I? I also find it annoying that I have to go everywhere and look after everything myself. In the good old days, I'd just sit in the guardhouse, look at the monitor, and be done with it. Alright, then tell me. Talker. I am a big talker. I hear someone stealing. You know anything about that? And that's what this whole nonsense is about. I already told my boss that for me this is a complete waste of time. Why you say that? Which one of us would be so stupid as to steal from ourselves? Unless it's one of the electricians. I'm telling you, it's just bullshit. That's all. I can't because we don't have it. It doesn't work. It's broken and not working. It'll be two weeks now. So two weeks without surveillance. Did you do anything about it? Did you call for repairs? Report it to anyone? Don't give me. Ah, that's all for now. Appreciate it. Quick, huh? We really need to keep the entrance clear. Ah, oh, well, that's not that's not up to me. All right, let's see what we got. Got a dude standing over there, but I'm trying to make sure I don't have anybody. I got a dude standing right here. That is one of the worst spots. Oh, there's a truck there, but oh, oh, oh. Interesting. Hello, Mr. Policeman. I knew I knew you from somewhere. Oh uh, yeah, where's that at? Something going on at that station, huh? Poor girl. 
I don't blame that brother of hers. How was he? Fast, huh? Eh, yeah, well, that's not what I'm here for. I'm not at liberty to disclose details. I'm here on another if case. You want to pass? You better be patient. The guys have lost the keys to that truck. They vanished into thin air or something. You didn't look together with them? I didn't lose it. I didn't look for it. Simple. Well, that's not teamwork. Right, let's go talk to this guy over here. Hey, man, how's it going? What? <sighs> My kid do something wrong again? Well, about the neighbor's car, we've already made a deal. Well, I'm not here about that, but, uh, you work in the repair department? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if it's not the kid, what is it? Just answer the questions, okay? Do you also service surveillance systems? Yeah, and we're the best in town at it. You're starting to worry me. And your neighbor's surveillance, do you handle it? No, I sure don't. Their boss is a cheapo, and we know what we're working for. He thought we were too expensive. Their system, according to the security guard, has been down for two weeks. They really haven't contacted you about this? I told you, their boss is a tightwad. None of my people are going to fix it for free, <laughs> because why would they? But if you could contact the, counter, the, contact the owner of the car wash. You care, don't you? Okay, sure. I'll call him, but no promises. Tell me more. Yes. Have you noticed anything suspicious on your neighbor's property lately? Heard something? No. No. I, I don't think so. What's this all about? Yes? I won't keep no you any problem. longer. Goodbye. Talk to the landlord about the CCTV malfunction. So that's not the landlord. Um, would landlord be over here? No. Who are you? What are you just standing around for? The police? Is something wrong? Can you tell me where I can find the owner of the company? Ours? Or the repair shops? What is it? Yours. Where can I find them? You see that blue building behind me? You go up there and you take the stairs to the first floor. The boss has an office up there. Thanks, I'll get out of your way. Sure. I'm about to finish my shift. But if you need anything else, I'll be around. I appreciate it. Ah, well, I should have noticed the uh, arrow and the office sign, but it is what it is. Alright, man. How's it going? Good morning. Can I help you? Yeah, she can, actually. You the owner? No, I'm not. The boss is upstairs in his office. And what do you do here? I think that's why they call me a warehouse supervisor. I make sure that uh, everything's fine, you know? Right, in that case, I won't bug I've you anymore. I've got some paperwork to take to the office. It's at the other end of the square, so if anything, look for me there. All right, we'll do. Appreciate it. So his office is upstairs. Knock, knock. Good morning. I hope you hear about that theft. It's crazy, I swear to you. Are you convinced someone's really stealing fuel? If something suddenly disappears and no one knows what really happened, in my opinion, it's quite obvious. I mean, with gas prices these days, I kind of get it. You don't think if someone was really stealing that fuel, security would have noticed anything? What I can tell you is, our security guard is what he is. I get the feeling he comes here for punishment. But we can't afford to hire someone else at this point. Of course, if he screws up badly, I'll just fire him, but I like to give people a fifth and tenth last chance. That's not a bad thing, is it? I mean, it could be. Besides, what's going on here has grown way too big for security to do anything about. That's why I called you. You. Wait, you only employ one security guard? Yes. I felt there was no need for additional expense. Ah. You know, I'm looking at you and... Do I know you from somewhere? Haven't you been in some commercial or... What's your name? Price. Scott Price. No, I don't really think so. I knew it. Price. Of course you did. Jackie showed me your picture. Jack, do you know him? How do you know him? He worked here for a while. A short time. Maybe about... About two weeks. Well, no more. He was in security, just like me. Then he just disappeared. He stopped coming in just like that. Interesting. You probably don't know where I could find him now. Uh, 
I have no idea. The guys won't tell you anything either. Jack hasn't been in touch with anyone. He talked to me sporadically. Sure, let's get back to the case then. You aware your surveillance system hasn't picked up anything in two weeks? Excuse me? How? What are you talking about? This is bullshit. So you're saying there's no malfunction? If you look up at the screen up there, you'll see for yourself that everything's working. What's all this nonsense about a malfunction? The security guard told me about the malfunction. Why did he lie? What do you think? I have no idea. Ask him. I'll be sure to do uh, that. Let me know, okay? What you find out? Tell me hmm? more. Can you pinpoint when these revelations about the disappearing fuel started? No, not particularly. If I noticed it right away, I probably would have cleaned it up myself. Recently, complaints from customers have increased a lot, and we can't ignore them anymore. Business is business. I'm sure you understand. I get it. Can you quantify how much damage this is? You're asking about fuel? Our internal calculations suggest between 50 and 150 gallons per tanker. Customers are really angry, and there's nothing worse than negative publicity. I get that. Hmm? Who else might know anything about this issue? You can ask around among the boys. Maybe one of them will tell you something he didn't tell me. After all, a badge is a badge. How many people you employ here? Seven people. There used to be more of us, but hard times have come. As in any business. Hmm? Alright man, that's all for now. I'll, let, I'll talk to some of your people. I hope you find the thief. Really starting to think it's that security guard. Considering he uh, lied saying the CCTV was not working. So let's go talk to him about that. Well, let's see if this guy knows anything. Boss is in his office. I know, I already talked to him. Why are you being so rude? I told you the boss... Yeah, you're, you're just an a-hole. It is what it is. Alright, uh, this dude is gone. Talk to this dude walking here. Hey, man. Anything else? Oh, okay, I guess I don't talk to him. Let's go talk to the security guard. Uh... So he's gone. I have a strange situation here. Company security guard lied to me about the surveillance and so he's disappeared. Identical incidentally, someone also crashed a recording server. Expected his doing. Uh, find three clues that point to a crime. Well, that's one of them, isn't it? Or do they mean like out over here? Grab the flashlight out. Three clues that point to a crime. Well, we have a smashed computer. The recorder smashed. Okay, I guess we can't go out that way. Find three clues. Well, the tanker got moved. Come on, you can go through. Thanks, I won't disturb you. Hey, man. The guys said we had police hanging around. They mention why? Bullshit. What is this about? I'm on break, so please, let's move this along. So you work here? Yeah, I wash cars. It's a stupid job, but there's no other. You haven't seen or heard anything suspicious around here lately? I don't know. I don't think so. Everybody does their own thing. Alright, you told me a little bit. Uh, tell me more. Well, you're a talker. Ah, okay, well I guess that's it. 
Hey man, what's going on? I told you the boss is in his office. Well, how come you're in here, but you were just out there, and now you're in here telling me he's in his office? What? The uh, I I don't want to know. Tor, if I go in back in that blue building, I talked to boss man, and he's still in there. I'm probably gonna. I don't know. Oh, he's not in here. Cool. Let's talk to the old boss man. How's that? Did you find anything out? I want to talk to your security guard, but he disappeared. But it looks like to me a deliberate act. I suspect a security guard. I'm kidding. I don't understand any of this. You think Harry is somehow? Yeah, I do. How's that? Did you find? Oh, okay, so I guess I can't look up the CCTV. Traces of gasoline, traces of fuel tanks. Like I said, it was probably that security guard, but right now we're looking for any type of evidence that would suggest fuel being stolen. And I'm not really 100% sure what to actually look for. If I'm being honest with y'all. A truck is blocking the road. There's someone back there. Can I talk to this guy? Does he know anything? Come on. You can go through. Could you still move could you move could you still move that smaller truck? Of course I can. Just wait a minute. I'm gonna have to take care of something right now. Alright, appreciate it. Take care of something. You're just going to sit, stand around, do nothing. What do you mean he's going to take care of something? What's this? Concealed canisters. Very interesting. And they're just kind of conveniently placed back here. Do you know who collects fuel canisters in different parts of the car wash and why? Canisters? Yeah, the canisters. You know anything about that? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm sorry. You sure about that? You're talking to a cop. It sounded like I was talking to the Pope himself. I don't know anything. I wash cars. You better talk to Peter about the canisters. He's in charge of the warehouse. So back to the question. Well, you're a talker. Alright, Peter was this guy. I told you the boss is in his office. Well another attempt by motormouth? Canisters? Where's that puddle of gasoline behind one of the trucks? I don't know, sir. Maybe it was raining gasoline. What's all this about? Why are you asking? Are you from the police or the health department? The point is that one of you, or maybe all of you together, are doing some shady shit. And you better start taking this conversation seriously. Okay, keep your pants on. The puddle wasn't there yesterday. Maybe one of the guys spilled something today. I don't know. Well, you're a talk. Alright, so there's a puddle of gasoline behind a truck. Which, I'm not exactly too sure what truck it is. But apparently we've found it, or have not found it. I don't think we found it. Wait, have we found the three clues? Truck's blocking the road, you can't pass through. Maybe some driver could go park the truck. Puddle of gasoline in the TCC parking lot. And then the canisters and the truck is blocking the road. And of course we can't access it from this way. So we do have to wait for that thing. So we have possibly two of the three clues. 
That, uh, I'm gonna talk to this dude, see if he has anything else. Yeah, uh, anything else you want to ask? No. no problem. Goodbye. Nothing for you, but let's see if they actually move that small truck. Alright, dude, can you move that small truck for me now? Come on, you can go through. Of course I can. Just wait. Okay, well, how long's a minute? Because I've been sitting over here and I'm trying to figure out what's going on back there. Because I saw someone walking around. Man, I'm searching everywhere and I cannot find this fucking third clue. Ah, oh, here's more canisters. Hey, there's more canisters. Alright, well, we can go talk to the employees about the guard. Let's see if he'll say anything. A few words about your security guard. You know him well. Really? That's who you want to talk about? Well, that's who I'm asking about, isn't it? I don't think he's popular. Well, I don't think he's happy. He's a lazy ass at work and he's a master at it. Even now he walked around, walked around and disappeared. Makes sense. Can you tell me more about him? If I have to. He's always bragging. He can't stand it anymore. I like how the game glitches. That's definitely not what he said. He also keeps going on and on about his last job. He was some kind of super manager or supervisor there. I think he misses it, but I don't blame him. He used to be a somebody. Now he's a nobody. Makes sense. You know why he lost the job? No. I asked him once and he got mad and that it wasn't my business. Gotcha. Well, you're a talker. Really? That's a quell. I don't think You don't think happy. he's doing a good job? Not good is an understatement. Meaning what? I mean what I said before. He doesn't give a shit. Apart from that, he's an asshole. He's Makes irresponsible. Sense. He's always late. I once waited at a locked gate for an hour for him to show up. Really? Huh. Okay. Well, you're a talk. Let's talk to... Yeah, of course, he still hasn't moved the dang truck. Come on. You can go through. Do you see that puddle of gasoline? I wasn't paying attention. Why do you ask? Boys frequently spill stuff. It's not uncommon. It's kind of funny, by the way. Mr. Policeman is investigating a gasoline puddle. <laughs> eh, well, there's more to that, but, you know, laugh your butt off. I don't care. Wow, he worked for a corporate. Interesting. Yeah, uh, anything else you want to ask? You know the security guard over there at the car wash? I do. I know they had some kind of issue with them. I saw him get mad once and rip a mirror off a brand new car. He wasn't alone. Some guy I don't know came to see him. He had a nice car too, by the way. I heard the security guard call him Big Louie. <laughs> That's a weird nickname. That is a weird nickname. No problem. Goodbye. Alright, appreciate it. Uh... Huh, so he actually, it actually comes up as in the system. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. We'll talk to the, try to go by talk to the big boss man, and then we'll talk to Peter. Anything else? Sure. What is it? You no idea where I can find the security guard? And I just saw him a second ago. He was running this way. Which way? Behind those big blue hangers. He was acting weird. He doesn't normally speed up like that. Do you know him well? Oh, I don't know him at all. He often smells of booze, so I stay away from him. I get that. Oh, I talked to him once and he told me he was too smart for this job. He obviously has a problem with it. You been acting any different than usual? I don't think so. But also, you know, I don't follow him around, so maybe I don't know everything. Tell me more. Yeah? Ah, that's all for now. I appreciate it. Let's go talk to Peter, and let's see if he will actually talk to us this time. Instead of saying his boss is in the office. Oh yeah? I'm really busy. Well, I don't care. It'll take a minute. You must. How well you know your security guard? So good, it's not good at all. I see him every day, sure, but I won't say any more about him. Well, 
Maybe just that he's a lazy ass and a bum. Alright, tell me again. You must. Have you... You're in charge of the warehouse and everything in it, right? Yeah. What is it? I found several canisters of fuel. They were scattered all over the place. That's not very responsible of you, is it? I repeat. What do you mean? You have a problem with missing fuel. Meanwhile, I'm finding traces that may even be evidence in this case. You're in charge of the warehouse and it's your responsibility. Why? Nonsense. That doesn't prove anything. Not the canisters themselves, but the video surveillance our texts are looking at right now, right? But the surveillance? Damn. I can't talk to you about this. This is about my family. If I spill the beans, I'll... Uh, I don't even want to think about it. Uh, if you don't tell me what this is about, I can't help you. What? Se security? You, you have no idea what kind of people they are. No one's gonna stop them, and not you nor your security people. In that case, I'm talking. To, I'm taking you to the station. What do you think they'll? Th what do you think they'll think when they find out about this? So that's your method, huh? Uh, all right. I'll tell you what I know. Some time ago, this security guy came to me, and asked me to give him a couple of canisters without putting it on the report. Okay. I told him no because I could smell a rat, but he wouldn't let it go. The next day, he came again, and I blew him off again. Last night, two strange men knocked on the door of my house. They told me not to discuss or ask any stupid questions, just to do as the security guard says, or else, you know, family. Interesting. I, I have no idea how he got involved. M maybe they're blackmailing him too? Two strange guests is poor information. You'll have to fill in the rest at the station. I'm telling the truth. I, I don't know them, and... and and you can't get anything else out of me because I don't know anything else. Alright, well. You're going to jail, dude. I like how I didn't even have to tell him to get on the ground or nothing. He just kind of like got up and put everything. Yeah. You don't even know what you just did. Oh, I know I did a lot of things. Claims he cooperated with the security guard because he was blackmailed. Alright, so he said he went behind the two blue... Okay, so it's probably back over here. I'm glad to see you. Why is Bob that? Bob looking for you. I don't know why, he didn't say. But he looked nervous. Talk to the employees about the security guard. Let's go talk to Bob real quick. Which I think either Bob is the security guard or the manager. I don't officially know which one. Let's go talk to boss man up here. See what he says about security boy. How's that? Did you find anything out? You see those fuel canisters? I found at least a few. What's weird about it? In the context of the case you brought me on here on, don't you wonder? I don't know. Maybe. Talk to Peter, our warehouse supervisor. He'll know more. Where can I find him? It wasn't downstairs. Then in the office, across the square. I found a large puddle of spilled gasoline behind one of the trucks. And nobody cleaned it up? I would advise you to leave it at that. For now, I'm treating it as a hint, but perhaps it will become evidence. Talk to the boys. Maybe one of them saw something. Back to the security guard. I don't know much more than what I already said. He seemed okay at first. Then it kind of went downhill. He once mentioned that he was having some trouble with his wife and child. Apparently, he hasn't seen them in eight years. But it didn't seem to make any difference. But then he said that his kid needed a heart transplant. What do you mean it went to shit? I caught him drinking at work once. I was going to fire him right away, but I didn't have anyone to replace him. He promised it wouldn't happen again. Gotcha. There was also a situation where he got a little too close to one of our employees. The girl quit because she was sick of him. Gotcha. How do you feel? Was it worth giving him those fifth and tenth last chances? I don't know. But, no, I don't think so. I wouldn't go down that road again. I'd hope not. Harry's clever, and he's not stupid. When he tried, he was really thorough. But he doesn't care anymore. At all. I understand. That should do it. I hope you find the thief. 
Well, the thief is actually your security guard. Can I talk to you again? Hey, stop. Any sure. What is it? You said you were looking for me. What is that? Yeah, it's great that you're here. It's very important. You're looking for that security guard, right? Yeah. You know where he is now? I saw him. He was majorly pissed off, and I think he had a piece. A gun, I mean. He usually only goes around with a radio, which never works anyway. Makes sense. If you go through that door behind me at the end of the hangar, you'll find him. He's been jumping around like he's had ants in his pants. Thanks for your help. Better stay out of there for now. Sure thing. Okay, so go to that door behind him. Let's go talk to some more people. Because apparently we didn't talk to everybody. Okay, so he didn't make contact because he's not allowed to talk to his family. Restriction of parental rights. Yeah. Stop, please. And what? You have to stick big nose in other guy's business, huh? Put the gun down, let's talk. What am I supposed to talk to you about, huh? We're both screwed now. I hear you got some shady friends. Someone visited you here recently. Your guy ho happens to hold a special place in our database. So? I know the guy, so what? I guess you don't have much on him if he's still walking free. I know you've been bullied. Those people who you who also threatened your friend or partner, I can help you, but you can't do much unless you give me something. What? What are you talking about? Nobody bullied me. I'm the master of my own destiny, okay? I decide what I get myself into, and I ain't afraid of no punks. Okay, so that was a bad one. Not happy to be working here, are you? You think you could do better? Sure I could. This job is crap. It's the same thing over and over. No challenges, and the money's not good either. You got kicked out of your last job because you were a con artist. Was it worth it? Dirty money and disciplinary action. Not a good deal for me. Man, if you knew how much money was flowing out there. Everybody was stealing. I got caught. In your previous job, you were somebody, you had something to say, people listened to you. Do you really want to lose your chance to rebuild that? Inflate your ego? If you go to jail, even if you get out of there, you can't do it. Nobody does. I screwed up, okay? This opportunity. There's no turning back now. I have to deal with what life is thrown at me. No, there's definitely no going back. You haven't heard from your wife or son in a couple years. And why should I contact them? Stupid. I told you the kid was just more trouble. They restricted your parenting rights and gave you a restraining order against the kid and his mother. I can't believe this doesn't bother you. I can't believe you're stupid enough to play that card. Your son is seriously ill. I know that's why you've been doing this extra stuff on the side. Treatment's expensive, huh? Even though you screwed up, I understand you want to fix it now. But man, from prison, you want to help a kid. Don't be a fool. What? The kid's illness is not my problem. I don't know the kid and I don't owe him anything. So back off, huh? Okay, so that was a very bad argument. So these are the only two good arguments I have. I know you like to put a few shots away your vodka drink or people can smell it. Do you honestly think I care? The smell patrol is here. The smell doesn't suit them. Fuck them. You come to work late almost every day. I know it's hard to get out of bed when you're hungover. Yeah? How do you know that? Mr. Coffee and Donut, I'm never late. You drink, you drink way too much, and what's worse, you drink at work. There's no discussion about it. Your boss caught you and you didn't get kicked to the curb simply because he didn't have another person to take your place. You don't get a drop behind bars, you know, forced rehab. Do I look like I'm going there? We're talking, right? Barely. You're not very popular with your colleagues, you know that, right? They say you're an a-hole and a grump. Who cares what they say? A lot of people do. You messed up, you broke a friend's car mirror. Oh, really? How old are you? Five? What exactly did he do to you? Why? He complained, right? But he didn't tell you he slashed my tire, did he? Let him be glad it was a mirror and not his head. With that girl, the boss's assistant, that's a great exaggeration. I heard you gave her a hard time. You don't know what prison does to guys who don't respect women. All I need to do is put that info out there. This is no place for wimps, okay, smartass? But I know, okay? I know I went a little overboard with her. I haven't heard such bull-
How'd I miss? As long as I can disarm him, I don't care. Oh, that was a cheap shot. I missed him on that one. And we disarmed him. All right. All right, man. You're going to jail today. Let's go pick up that firearm. They'll get you. You'll see. Who? Who's going to get me? Believe me. We're going to regret getting involved in this. I kind of like this game because, like, it has that storyline to it. Like, it's not like it's just a different call, you know, you go to something random. There's actually a storyline. Like, we've seen some people that we've seen in previous calls. Some people notice us, recognize us. It's like we're one of the famous cops in this town. But let's go ahead and talk to the owner about our results. And we'll see what he has to say. Cops! Oh! Go tell your boss. I'll take care of him. Put the gun down and surrender. Me. What is this go nonsense? Come on, give me one more good hit. There we go. Suspect was killed. Let's grab that first aid kit. <sighs> so, is the owner the actual owner of the company? You took care of them? They threatened me. I don't know who they are, but... One got away. You sure you don't know any of them? 100%. I don't know them. They waved a gun in my face and told me to stay here. Luckily, you showed up right after that. Can you tell me what this is all about? This is a sick situation. I'm sorry I can't right now. This looks like a bigger case, and as a matter of fact, the less you know, the more soundly you sleep. I don't think I'm going to get any sleep now. You say that now. Take it easy. I'm going to file a protection and request for you right now. Just get just in case. For now, just stay where you are. I'll have someone come get you. Uh, well, okay. Thank you. Yeah, not a problem, man. Let's go ahead and try to find this other suspect. I wonder if they took the security guard. I feel like they did something with the security guard. So he said the door behind him. This door. Yep, that security guard is gone. Oh no, he's right here. I want to know where that one got away to. Alright, well I think that is it since he ended up uh, fleeing. I don't think we're going to be able to catch him. This is probably going to be something a bigger case than what we originally expected it to be. Let's go ahead and head back to our patrol vehicle. We'll complete the mission here. But yeah, we got 91%. We killed one out of the two. Uh, he didn't run away, actually. Interesting. Well, we got 91. Let's go ahead and keep going. Good evening, America. Here's the news. We got one skill point. And we shall do... You start the mission with one stun gun bullet. We'll take that for sure. Oh, we got four new cases here. So we have a fight at the bar, brawl at the garage, screaming at the warehouse, and a suspicious transport. All right, guys. Well, that's going to go ahead and do it for this one. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Let's go ahead and head back to the police headquarters here. All right, back at the where or at the headquarters here. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys here on the next video. Peace.